Hey there guys and welcome again to Newbie Prepping. Please ignore any pitter patter because that's my dogs walking around below me. This video is all about my updated EDC everyday carry. You may have seen in the previous video up here uh, that it used to be made up of a blue bum bag. And uh, while I quite actually liked that thing, I decided I wanted to have a bit more stuff in there. Um, I live in a very rural area, very, very rural area. Uh, I'm in Northern Ireland, I mean most of it is rural. Um, so what I wanted in my everyday carry uh, was enough to help me if I needed to not quite bug out, but uh, escape from something so that I could get home uh, and be safe, essentially. Escape to safety. Yeah, you know what I mean. And here we have the EDC. Some people might recognize it from the first bug out bag video I ever did. That very first bug out bag video was very much me just kind of jumping the gun a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, you could definitely see in the video that I just got a few things together and I got a bit overexcited and wanted to make a video. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one... Um, this is, in my opinion, going to be great for an everyday carry. Though it may look like it's heavy, it really isn't. It's uh, only about 5 kilograms, um, really nice and light. But it's got everything I need inside of it that would help me escape and get to safety in any sort of scenario that would happen in this sort of area where I live. Turn on the flash here to try and make it easier to see. First things first, right in the back here, I've got a tarp. Um, it's a nice big tarp, and basically I would use this for shelter, whether I put it above me, or if I create shelter, I'll just put it below me. And yeah, it would just help out for shelter, just in general. Uh, just any sort of small emergency shelter, if I need to actually make shelter. So in this first compartment here, uh, we've got something that you may recognize from my other EDC video. Okay, so what we have here are the contents of this little survival box. I decided that I didn't like some of the stuff that was in it before, so I got rid of it. For example, the compass here, I decided to get a much better quality compass, so I replaced that. I kept these two things in here, I put my pry bar in there, got the whistle in here, I figured an Allen key with a screwdriver on the bottom would be great to go in here and it fits right in the corner there so it's great. Uh, still got the cordage and I've got uh, a cable for my uh, phone charger so that I can charge up my phone just in case. I think that having a charger on you is very important whenever you've got an everyday carry. I've got my knife sharpener in here. I uh, took that out of my bug out bag because I figured if I am bugging out, I'm going to be taking this bag with me anyway. So it would make sense uh, to have it in here because then I've always got it. Uh, whether I am just on my everyday uh, or if I'm bugging out because I'll always have it. Okay, so that's there. Next thing I have in here is a little bag. And I have... I'm not going to get them all out. I've got three MRE meals, uh, all of them the same flavor. Can you see there? Vegetable curry. Just some MRE meals, just in case I need them. And of course, I've got something to cook them on too. Extra tablets, just in case, for the Hexi burner. There are already some uh, tablets in that Hexi burner. Also in here, hey Gaia, I have uh, the uh, multi-tool which I showed off in the last video. Here it is in case anyone is wondering. And then I also have in here my UK legal EDC knife, less than three inches, folding, not locking, and can't be opened with one hand. And I've also, just for good measure, just got a nice little Swiss Army knife in here. Also what I've got in here is my Sawyer Mini Water Filter. I uh, wonder if you can see it in there. Yeah, that's it there. 
and the syringe and everything for it. Got it in a nice sealed bag there, just so it doesn't get dirty or anything, essentially. As you can probably just about see, everything fits in nice and snugly. Uh, in fact, the reason why I put those MREs in that bag is because uh, it's easier to keep them together when they're in a bag like that. Anyway, on to the next one. Now, I'm actually quite proud of the setup of this next one because everything just sits together so well. Okay, so I've got a nice little compact first aid kit. I've got a cup here with tea and coffee and all that in there, and it's even got the um, cutlery set there. And no matter which way I walk around with this, even if I'm like running or anything, somehow it all manages to stay upright. Uh, obviously because it's all just compact in there so well. And it's just so good how it all just stays upright and perfect. Got some cordage here, emergency cordage. Uh, I've got a citronella armband to keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, got some tape because why the hell not? I believe that's Gorilla brand. Other brands are available. I've got a mosquito head net as well, just as a way to keep them away from me. And last but not least in this one, I finally got a place for my emergency food rations because why the heck not, eh? Right in the bottom here, keeps everything up nice and well. And once again, as you can see, it all fits in there very snugly. Okay, now on to the next one. There isn't much in the top here for this. Uh, I just got some emergency ponchos here. Um, I'm not sure what brand they are, I just got them in Asda. And then I've got an emergency blanket, just again thinking about shelter just to keep the heat in. And last but not least, I've got this torch. It's a pretty decent, powerful torch. It was like five pounds as well, so uh, not even that expensive, and it's just super powerful. Of course, probably the trade off is for having all that power is that. It takes up a lot of battery, but I'm not sure. It hasn't run out of batteries yet, and I've had it for quite a while now. Okay, now on to the final one. And here we have my fire kit. What I'm going to do is just lie the bag down. Okay, so here we have my fire kit. Here's my Smith's Tinder Maker, which I did a review for that you can see in the link in the description. I've got a dry bag full of uh, stuff, which I will show you in a sec. In here, we have uh, two fire steels just in these handy dandy slots. And I've got a bellows here because starting a fire with and having a bellows is always a good idea. And something you'll notice that I do uh, quite a bit now is carry quite a few lighters because for an everyday carry, you want things to be easy. So why not carry a few lighters? <laughs> In fact, probably the ultimate lighter because it can be recharged is one of these Explorer lighters. And here we go, I'll just open it up here and flick it open and as you can see it's just got a little button here and it charges there and watch what happens when I press the button Wow! When this thing is shut it's waterproof and when it's open and being turned on like that it's windproof here we go Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that didn't blow out your speakers. Right, and there we go. Nice little handy dandy clip. And there you go, that's now waterproof. All those other lighters are very much finite. Whereas this one will work a hell of a lot longer. And of course it's camo because... Yeah, this one will work a hell of a lot longer because it's rechargeable. And it can be recharged by a power bank or solar charger. So... Why the hell not have one of those in your everyday carry? Okay. So basically what we have 
in this red bag is basically a ton of these. Uh, there's also uh, some circular ones, as you can probably tell there. There's also a lighter in there. In fact, I'm not even going to bother opening this because all it is in here is just four of these, uh, two lighters, and two of these circular things, and they contain exactly the same as what I've got in these. Okay, so what I have here is two fire lighters each. In each one of these is two fire lighters and cotton wool covered in Vaseline. And yet that's not dried out or anything. I, uh, honestly, because it's Vaseline, I don't think it ever will dry out. Well, it probably will eventually, but you can just refresh it quite easily. And yeah, basically these two are my go-to fire starters because the fire lighters, they burn straight away and they burn hot. So pretty much anything you put on that fire will start burning. And then this uh, for a tinder is just amazing because it's pretty much exactly the same as that except it's lighter and it can be compressed down in fact this much i got in here would probably be worth the same as like two maybe even three of these fire lighters honestly so yeah uh see what happens is is the cotton wool is easy to light but the vaseline is actually not flammable so what happens is, is as the fire is burning the cotton wool, sorry, I'm speaking with my hands now, because the fire is burning the cotton wool, um, which then catches fire onto the Vaseline, the Vaseline maintains the cotton wool, which then maintains the, uh, the fire that's on the cotton wool. Uh, think of it pretty much like the wick of a candle, how like the wick of a candle doesn't just burn out instantly. Yeah, it's it's so good, honestly. Like, cotton wool and Vaseline is my go-to Tinder nowadays. Uh, but I've got so many um, fire lighters just because they're just so easy. So why not? Why not? Why not carry them? And I've got I've got enough fire sauce in here to start like twenty, maybe even thirty fires. So for an everyday carry, why the heck not? <laughs> Just remember this everyday carry is also supplementing my bug out needs if I ever need to bug out. Okay, and I do believe that that is everything. And so here we have it. This is my completed everyday carry bag. But you know what? You can probably tell by the fact that this video isn't near the finish mark that there's actually something else I want to talk about. You see, Halfway through, going through all of this bag, putting it all together and buying all the stuff for it, I realised that I was going a bit overboard. I was getting every day carried away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was getting a little carried away. And what I've essentially made here is a UK legal bug out bag. Because you could probably use the tools that are in this to survive for the three days, which is the idea of a 72-hour survival bag, i.e. the bug out bag. And it's, uh, it also has the advantage of the fact that it's got nothing in there that's not UK legal. So, essentially, I've decided to not use this as my EDC. It's not my everyday carry bag. This is going to be staying in the boot of my car as a get-home bag. So if I'm far away, if I'm, over, say, over in Belfast or something, and my car breaks down and there's absolutely no way I can get back home, I can just track it, take this bag, and if I need to, I can sleep rough. I've got food to eat. It's a get-home bag. It's not my everyday carry anymore. So what is my everyday carry? This is my everyday carry. Quite a size difference, as you can probably see. Now the first thing you might notice is the power bank solar charger that I said that I had in this bag is actually on this thing. Again, because this is going to be used in conjunction with this. Because whenever I'm out of the house, I'm going to have this. But if I'm ever out of the house and far away, i.e. in my car, I'll have this. 
so it'll all be used in conjunction with each other. And thanks to the handy straps on the back, I can even strap it to this bag. Demonstrated like so. And it doesn't even add that much to the weight of the bag. Well, barely nothing to the weight of the bag. It's like one of those transformer combiners. So then, now that we're talking about my actual EDC, I have to apologize about the clickbait. Uh, yeah, I was kind of banking on people wanting to watch to tell me that this bag here was way too much to be considered an everyday carry. So here we are. So, like I said, because I'm in a rural part of Northern Ireland, very rural, for an EDC, I still want fire source. I even got this nice nifty little jet lighter. You can't really see the flame on that, but it's a windproof electric lighter. I might even buy a few more of those. So what else do I have in the fire section of my EDC? Well, something you might have seen before. The Bath Bushcraft Shop Pocket Fire Kits. A nice ton of stuff in here. Various different ways of starting fire. And now let's have a look in the main pouch. Okay, so the first thing you might see is I got one of these three-way cables. So I can charge from my power bank a Type-C, a micro USB and a Apple iPhone all handily from the same ca cable so yeah I figured for saving space being more ergonomic or whatever word you want to use I thought that this would be the best thing to have in here I've got the torch that used to be in that little survival box that I showed you earlier this thing is actually still quite powerful for only being a little torch very impressed with it very happy with it Also got myself a little multi-tool here. It's not one of those super impressive Leatherman ones. No, it's not one of those. However, it is still pretty damn good quality, super sturdy, and there are lots of different options on here. The main thing that I, of course, wanted it for was the saw. And I'm glad to say that the saw is nice and sharp because for getting wood, a saw is just absolutely imperative to have if you want to save your energy and getting nice dry wood in a forest, the best way of doing it is definitely by having a saw. One day I'll be using this in a video to test it out, so you can look forward to that. And last, but by no means least, I've got my UK legal folding knife, and this thing is probably the creme de la creme of folding knives. Some people might already recognize what it is by that little logo. I'm gonna put my camera down because there is no way in hell you're gonna open this with only one hand. You hear that satisfying click? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> and here it is. When it's unfolded like this, it looks like it could be a fixed blade knife. Honestly, and the quality of it and how sturdy it is and everything you would be forgiven for thinking that it was. There we go. It, N695, the Bushcraft Store. This is the Boar folding knife. EDC, UK legal. Less than three inches, folding, not locking. And you can't open it with one hand. Oh, heck no. <laughs> there we are, look at how thick that is. You could probably even still batten this. Look at how thick that is. I've got fixed blade knives that aren't even that thick. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty, and it even smells good too. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. When you open up the package of one of these things brand new, the smell hits you, I swear. But yeah, look at how cool that little TBS Boar logo is. Yeah, this is a fantastic EDC knife, and I specifically got this one. I know I'm gushing over it a little bit, but there is a reason why I got this one. is because of the Scandi Grind. Uh, the grind of the knife, as you can see, is a Scandi grind. And most EDC knives that I get have the bevel right on the bottom of the blade. And 
I don't think that they feather wood that well. Like, whistling wood is not as easy as with a Scandi grind. And I honestly could not find an EDC UK legal knife that had a Scandi grind on it apart from this one. I mean, I'm sure there'll be like a million comments like linking to other websites, but honestly, I could not find one other than this one. But hell, I am very glad that I found this one because it just oozes quality and that blade is razor sharp. And when I say razor sharp, I don't mean it as a phrase. I mean it is as sharp as a razor straight out of the packet. Bloody brilliant knife. So here we are. This is the entire contents of my current EDC. Sorry for the subterfuge again and the clickbait. Uh, I just thought it would be pretty funny. But yeah, this is it. Again, I will say that it will supplement my get home bag and my gut home bag will supplement my bug up bag and my bug up bag supplement my inch bag blah 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 you know how it goes well you may not if you're a newbie prepper but hey if you're a newbie prepper then that's how it goes <laughs> all right guys well that was my everyday carry and well my get home bag too i hope everyone that commented before the end of the video is now editing their comment uh, if they were saying something mean about the fact that my edc was too big or anything like that Anyway, uh, it's just important to note as well that uh, Mark is going to be making a urban EDC video because he lives in a more built up part of Northern Ireland so his preps are a bit more urban focused than my rural ones uh, even though we do both consider ourselves bushcraft preppers because you kind of have to when you're in Northern Ireland. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to see that video then the best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel and to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when the video comes out. Also, if you wouldn't mind liking the video just so that we have a better chance on this YouTube algorithm for being seen by uh, other people, other preppers or newbie preppers that uh, basically just want to get into it. Also, we have a Discord. Uh, if you want to join us on Discord and just come and talk to us and share your knowledge and uh, maybe even learn a thing or two, we've got quite a few knowledgeable people on that Discord. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much again for watching the video all the way to the end. This is Dio, by the way. Mwah. He's a good dog. Thank you very much. I'll see you again. I've been Rich with Newbie Prepping. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>